Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Nost here playing some Minecraft today. I actually wanted to do something special. I've uh, been creating a texture pack actually that I've been working on for a while here. You can see it, Nost Craft. Of course, that's the popular thing to do is take your name and put craft at the end. So obviously that's what I would do, you know, because I'm a sheep led to slaughter. So um, I actually set up a world here called T-Pack Test. That's uh, just a flat world creative mode that um, will uh, have all these different back here you can see that's all that's everything I've worked on so far let's actually go ahead and make it uh, day um, set time day nope daytime set I don't even know anymore time set day there you go woohoo all right um so yeah I just thought we'd start here and I would do this like as a kind of a general progression thing and you guys can give me uh, like small updates and stuff on what you think should be changed or what you like a lot or what you don't like a whole lot you know so obviously it's good like uh, just kind of get your feedback as I go through it instead of like an overall thing and I'm not overwhelmed with trying to fix everything at once. So um, if we start over here, this is actually the last thing I just finished was all the ores and stuff. The only thing I haven't done is I haven't finished the emerald uh, ore block or the uh, lapis, lapis lazul. And, but I did uh, do the ore for uh, coal, iron, gold, emerald, uh, lapis, diamond, and uh, redstone. And so um, that was just recently done. I was just kind of thinking of a good idea. I just took the stone texture. That's what this uh, black texture in the background is. Is um, actually, oh no, I didn't put it out. <laughs> this stone right here. Um, that's just normal stone right on its own. And um, then over here is the cobblestone. But uh, I just took the normal stone texture, which I had done first, and um, was actually able to just... Um, take the outline of what's like this you can see all these parts where it's darker red and stuff you know is um, actually from the original ore block and I just really like there's a couple where I added those small on my own and did just kind of like an, a red outline of it and stuff so it looks like it's glowing or something you know and that's just what I did through all of them I don't know what you think about it I like it and this is the best idea I, best idea I've had or tried so far I like I tried to make a texture pack before and I don't think it worked out as well and so far I'm liking this one but so that there's that going on, and then actually I'll look here first in the chest. Uh, this is all the different ores right now. Um, I do not have emerald ore yet. I'm not sure what it even looks like. Oh well, yeah, I do. But I, I never, I didn't do that one yet. But here's the other ones. I decided to go with the round texture, and then here's my flint and steel. It's just a lighter. I don't know if that's gonna stick or not. That's what I did. That that was actually for my previous texture packs, and so that's just kind of carry over. Um, but yeah, there's all the uh, ores and stuff. They're all going to be round, and that's kind of where I got the idea for this. You see where um the for the ore block and stuff for the iron uh block is um it's got the circle in the middle. Actually, I'll show you on all sides. Oh, <laughs> go up, and um it's just the circle and stuff, obviously, and I think it looks pretty nice. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the same uh the same design for these two blocks except I'll just of course tint them green and blue and um, there's that I didn't know what to do with the sponge the sponge no obviously you can't use it in survival but some people like to use it as like an extra block for um, adventure map or something you know I actually had it look like Spongebob at one point and I was like nope that's too cheesy I'm sure it's been done plenty of times I'm not gonna do that but um, here's the dirt block which all I know could use some work because it doesn't really fit into the other ideas of the rest of it you know, like, the grass and the dirt are, like, really smooth compared to, um, these, which have a little bit more ridge, like, uh, the planks here have, like, the up and down line here and stuff, you know, there's just nothing standing, making this stand out, so, there's the dirt block, though, um, and I had to put this up off the ground so that, oh, you're still growing on me, that's cool, um, but, like, so I wouldn't get grass on it, um, but here's the vine, which I know, I don't know how well you can actually see a whole lot of difference, but it's there. And here's the sand block, which um, I've been pointed out, it doesn't tile very well. Like, you can obviously tell the difference between the different blocks. So, now, I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing or not. It looks good, I think. In my opinion, I don't think it really matters. But that's just me. So, I don't know. That's for you to decide. Um, other than that, that's that row right there. And for the record, um, the sign and chest designs are also what came with the uh, last texture, or what I did for the last texture pack. I, I'm, I'm going to change those. I just, I just haven't gotten, I'm mumbling like hardcore. Wow. Slow down. Okay. <laughs> the sign and the chest are from my other texture pack, and I've learned and gotten better at it um, now. 
so that I just haven't gotten around to doing them yet, but that will be changed, so don't worry. Um, but the windows, you know, kind of match. Uh, I liked how they matched the uh, plank idea, although I may make them more universal, because, of course, like, if I were to replace these with uh, stone right now, I don't know if it would look the same, you know. It doesn't really blend in very well. So if you wanted to make a solid stone house, I don't know if that would work as well. But, um, we'll see. I mean, it doesn't work. It doesn't look too bad, but definitely doesn't fit in as well as the, um, the, the uh, planks did. Um, other than that, these right here, the stone slabs, I made it look, they kind of look like iron girders to me. I don't know about you. I did the same thing on top as I did on the sides. Um, there's that. And then bricks, I'll show you over there. But I guess that's it for over here. Go on over to here. This is the two trees I've done so far. I have not done birch or jungle. But here's the oak tree plank, or sorry, a yeah, log. And the leaves, I had, I've done neither of the leaves. I just wanted to show you so I could uh, symbolize which one was there. And I'll show you later, too, as it updates. And you can see the difference between the two, except off, uh, this one's darker, of course. I really actually hate this one right now. I'm going to do some real work on it later. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I was working on other things. Um, but that just doesn't look good to me at all, and it doesn't fit the theme. Like, it might work if there was another theme for it, like if I was trying to go with the same style of stuff, but it just doesn't fit in. I've already shown you the planks, and I really like the planks. It was a good idea. I thought it was a really good idea to kind of bundle them up like this. And there's it in the slab and uh, stair form. And then the bricks over here kind of look like the actual, like, chimney brick kind of thing. You know, it's older, and the, um, the color in between, you know, which, like, you would usually see is, like, the, um, mortar or like uh, tar whatever it is they use you know cement um but like I just made it a little dark you know and I think it looks pretty good um over here to the cobblestone it is the same idea as the other things that's lined up um I am impartial to the cobblestone but I really like the mossy cobblestone you know with like the same with the green texture over the um brokenness of the cobble but I think here let's move this over actually I think they work together pretty well though, because you can see there's some, um, there's a little bit of like merging or whatever where it looks like it could connect like if, it, if, if you had a giant grid and stuff of the same things over and over, um, you'd be able to see it interlock, you know, and it would look natural, so I think it works pretty well, but I don't know, um, I, I feel like there's something I could do probably to change the the cobblestone a little bit, but, uh, here's the, um, the, uh, obsidian ore, obsidian block, I suppose, I suppose, um, yeah, I kind of wanted to keep the purple to it, you know, of course, you can, I kind of want to keep all these items to their general idea, like, so people will understand what they are, of course, but, um, I think I did a good job, and I, I like how it's a darker purple, of course, and it's, like, more faded and stuff. You may notice, I'm trying to get rid of most of the pixelation in mine. Like, compared to the natural, like, this, you know, how, I, even the gra the, the leaves on, this is a bad example, because I actually do like the leaves, but I mean, like, this one I'm not as big a fan of, because it's just so pixely, you know. And it works, of course, when everything's pixely, but I just kind of prefer to uh, have it more smooth, out like this, or, like, the grass. Um, this is the exception. I kind of want to work on this one still, but I like it at the same time. It's, I don't know how to explain. It's whatever. But, um, between the two of these, I like this. And I'm thinking of probably trying to figure out how to maybe make these blacker lines, um, maybe a little less dark or whatever, or maybe make the darker parts blacker, because I just don't want them to stand out so much, you know, and I want it to kind of be like this, where you see the, you can see small pixelation around it, and it actually works pretty well. And, um... Yeah, so that's all I have so far, and I will be keeping you guys up to date after I do a good amount of uh, work on these, and uh, update them a little bit, and then I'll come back to you with what's new, and yeah, so uh, go ahead and leave your comments below, because I'd really like to know what you guys think about it, and what you think I should change, you know, just give you a small overview as I'm talking, um, just kind of what you think I should change maybe, and uh, what you really like, like tell me what you like and what you don't like, you know, because of course I don't want just negative feedback until I go cry in the corner and hold myself in the fetal position, because no one wants that, but um, you know, yeah, feedback's always good, so thank you for watching today, and I will see you guys later, thanks.